Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave video. Well, it's October the 25th, Wednesday, and we're doing our midweek shave with an Aussie product. And what are we using? Well, Whispers from the Woods. There's their logo there. And it's called Pomelo. And Pomelo is a... Um, Asian uh, citrus fruit, similar to an orange. Actually, it's, it's like a, a big orange. And I think um, it's, it's what grapefruit came from. Anyway, a pomelo. So that's what we smell. We smell a orange and grapefruit type scent. Very nice. It's not strong. Um, Currently, I'll give it a 4 out of 10 until we lather it up. Let's see how we go. Uh, so I'll leave the uh, ingredient list and scent profile here. It's a vegetable, vegetable, vegetable paste <laughs> soap. And uh, that's what we're going with. And the brush we're going to use with that is an Aussie brush from Troy Craft. And I call it um, Arctic Ice because it sort of reminds me of um, ice flow in the Arctic. It's a lovely handle and in there I've got a 26ml snow leopard. So I'll just stick that in my mug to get wet. And the razor we're going with today we're going with the AC Single Edge Razor from uh, Razor Rock, the Razor Rock Hawk version 2, aluminium version, in this lovely blue colour. And in there I've got a Kai, um, what's it called, Captain Titan Mild. It's on its eighth use, so we'll see how that goes. I've got. Um, some spare blades here just in case and we'll put the pre-shave on we're going with the Natio smooth shave gel shave gel god my tongue's really twisted today it's actually uh, Late afternoon, it's about five o'clock here. And it's overcast, a bit chilly. But we're warming up towards the end of the week. Pretty typical spring weather at the moment. Where we get cool weather in between the warm weather. Okay, I'll do. Just loose my hands up. This is pretty slippery stuff. I must give it a shave. In one of these Aussie shaves. Okay, we'll go over and do the um, leather build in the overhead camera. Alright then, we've got a rounded quarter teaspoon quantity of soap here ready to go. So we'll just Push that into the bowl. Gather up all the soap. And just spread it out. You can see it's it's quite soft. This is normal type of texture modern soaps these days. Sort of croppy more than soapy. Okay, that's it. Ready to go. We'll get the brush, get the squeeze, shake, and we'll get started.
from making that lovely leather. And what have we got? Looks very nice indeed. The sand strength is still not very strong. Off the brush, it's only about three, four out of ten. Well, we'll see how that goes. All right, let's re-wet the face. I've got um, two days of growth. My last shave was on Monday. shine on it. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, I'll give it a 4 out of 10 on the sand strength. On the face it smells very nice. That orangey grapefruit type scent. I don't get a lot of the uh, lemon Maybe it's just blended in. More orange and grapefruit. Very nice leather though. Better than my last one. <laughs> Pays the usual standard uh, leathering technique. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this shave eight on this blade feels. Doesn't feel too bad, actually. Certainly knocking it down. With this razor, I like to ride the cap a bit. You can also ride the safety bar if you want. Depends how you feel. Ah, nice and slick. And I do have that pre-shave on, so. But I do find the whispers from the woods are good soap. I mean, it's not top tier stuff, but it's definitely a good soap, a good shaving soap. Okay, second. It's a very nice knot. This um, snow leopard, nice and soft. It will splay. I've got it set to, um, uh, what about 54 millimeters? So we'll get a decent splay on it. Just put a little bit of alum on my fingers at this stage. Don't need a lot because it's got a nice grip on this handle. I don't know what it's called, but it's the one that came with it.
I don't know whether there's any feedback. I, I don't hear that well. I do hear a little bit. I want the feedback. You don't get as much with these AZ blades because there's, uh, they're more, what do you call them? Thicker. So don't vibrate as much. Uh, it's feeling very nice and smooth. Um, Oh, was it shave eight on this blade? No problems at all. It's a light razor, I think it's about 40 grams from memory. Um, yeah, I won't measure it, it's about 40 grams. Very nice. Oh, plenty of slickness there. Very nice. This lovely soft knot. Very shiny leather, I don't know whether you can see that. It is very shiny. And I've got plenty of leather from that quarter of a teaspoon. Wonderful. Oh, doing a wonderful job. Smooth as silk. This is, uh, this razor is probably one of my top two AC razors. It's um, touch and go between this and the the new um, Yaki Romulus. The stainless steel one. You might see my wife poking her head through the doorway there. She just got home from work. Very nice. Ah, oh, I'm enjoying this. 
Yeah. Maybe three, four out of ten on the scent strength. It's probably fading a bit because I've had this soap quite a while. About three years, I think. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, let's feel for touch ups. Just a little bit in the normal area under the jawline. Just a little bit on the chin. Maybe under the nose here. Cheeks are pretty well done. All right. Let's re wet the face. Not to do you just a full pass, a light one. Right, on the jawline, a bit of buffering. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Very light touch. That'll do. Oh, I didn't do under the frames. Wonderful. It feels really nice on the skin and soap. And it's got all the right properties. It's got coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, lanolin, avocado oil, glycerin, castor oil, bentonite clay. It's got all the essential ingredients that you need for a soap. And it feels like it. It feels wonderful. All right then, let's rinse that off, do a quick alum check. Mr. Alum. If you want to know which one I'm using, it's Dermal Crystal Deodorant that uh, I get from uh, Chemist Warehouse, if you're in Australia. Nothing. Nothing on the neck. Just a little tingle there. Drink some more water. Just 
a few tingles around the upper lip, moustache area, sorry. Otherwise, it's beautiful. Wonderful shape, just tingles in the rest of the region. Okay, I'll rinse that off. Leftover leather on. We don't rinse it off, it kills the leather completely, especially with these vegetal soaps. It's sometimes okay with the uh, tallow ones, but uh, there we go. Leftover leather. Enough for at least another pass or two actually. Oh, that feels wonderful on the face. Okay, I'll put this on. Go have my shower and we'll be back. Well, that was a wonderful shave. I don't see any damage, any weepers or anything. Wonderful. Very smooth, clean. Ah, wonderful. Okay, let's start off with our Imperial Bergamot, some menthol. There's no alcohol in this Bergamot splash. aftershave balm it's called calming aftershave balm now this has got a little bit of lemon in it it's running down a bit Damn fine shave, it's a little bit here, didn't get very close. So, not a BBS. But a damn fine shave without irritation and weepers is all I'm after. And the final ingredient. We're going with this Turkish uh, eau de cologne, lemon, from uh, Parija, Parija. So I'll just spray some in my hand. And it smells almost exactly like 4-7-Eleven. just gave it to me without giving me the bottle, I would have said it was 4 7 11. Wonderful. It's probably got a bit more lemon than 4 7 11. That's the only difference. Okay, well that's my shave today. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you on my next shave.